Let's look at another example, this time indeterminate, and we'll go ahead and solve it using the differential equation method. So we'll have the, the bar that we had before with the distributed load B0, so a constant, but this time the bar is built in at both ends. The equation that we're going to solve is AE U double prime equals minus B0, so that's our equilibrium equation in terms of the displacements. And so to proceed, we can integrate this equation twice. Once we pick up our first constant, of integration C1, second time we pick up the constant of integration C2. To solve for the constant of integration, we'll use the boundary conditions for the problem. Uh, at x equals 0, it's built in, so we have no displacement. That tells us that C2 will be equal to 0. And at x equals L, we have no displacement, and so that will tell us then that C1 is equal to B naught L over 2. We can now plug in our expressions for C1 and C2 back into our final result, and we can find out that u of x is given to us in this form here. So the procedure here is identical to the procedure that we had before, but this problem happens to be indeterminate. So there's no need to assume that you know some unknown quantities and then remove them at the end of the day. And you just simply start with the differential equation of equilibrium and you solve it and you use the boundary conditions to determine the unknown coefficients that appear as you integrate the differential equation.